Welcome to our channel NIIR Project Consultancy Services. Are you looking for setting up a manufacturing business in different industries or planning to expand your existing one or simply just want to grab the knowledge about the business setup? Well, then you are at the right place and you have to be with us till the end of this video. Do you want to start business in ethanol production? Today, here you get to know about ethanol industry with us. NPCS is a well-known technical consultancy providing project reports compilation focused services. Here we have been following stringent rules for our system and procedure to ensure only top quality to deliver the needs of our clients with a fast pace in this rapidly growing and changing market. So today we are going to show you how to start ethanol production. What is ethanol? Ethanol which is also called ethyl alcohol, grain alcohol, drinking alcohol or simply alcohol is an organic chemical compound. Dual feed distillation refers to the most efficient, flexible and preferred technology for ethanol production today. Commercial dual feed distillation systems produce high quality ethanol with high purity and relatively high yields. Although single feed systems were once considered to be the most efficient way to produce ethanol, they have been all but replaced by dual feed distillation systems in the past two decades. What is the market of ethanol? The global ethanol market size was valued at USD 89.1 billion in 2019 and is anticipated to register a compound annual growth rate of 4.8% from 2020 to 2027. The demand for the product is driven by growing usage of the product as a biofuel. The rising consumption of alcoholic beverages is another major factor supporting the market growth. Ethanol can be manufactured by both natural as well as from petrochemical feedstocks. In the natural process, natural sugars are fermented in the presence of the yeast. Highlights Only 25 of India's 360 distilleries are dual feed distilleries. Dual feed distilleries that produce ethanol from molasses and grain can provide ethanol throughout the year. Ethanol distilleries based on maize and grains, that is, millets and broken rices, may be established in various sections of the country. Rain fed circumstances can be used to grow maize and millets. In comparison to sugarcane, these crops require far less watering. Government approves bioethanol procurement. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has given its approval to the following pricing for the bioethanol procurement by oil marketing companies for the Ethanol Blended Patrol Program. The mandatory ethanol blending with gasoline of 5% as previously decided by the CCEA should be implemented across the country, for which the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas will issue a gazette notification for the OMCs to implement the beginning with 2012 to 2013 sugar season effective from December 1, 2012. Ethanol procurement prices will henceforth be determined by OMCs and ethanol providers. In the event of a domestic supply shortage, OMCs and chemical farms are free to import ethanol. It is envisaged that 5% of bioethanol will be blended with gasoline sold in all of the country states and territories. The EBP program is now being implemented in 13 states, 
with a blending level of around 2% compared to a mandate aim of 5%. Project Cost Estimation Capacity Ethanol from molasses that is 5 kL per day. Ethanol from grain 5 kL per day. DTGS as by-product 8 kL per day. Plant and machinery rupees 3723 lakhs cost of the project is 4778 lakhs rate of return 24 percent break-even point 44 percent thank you for watching our videos if you have liked our video then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more videos like this and also please click on the bell icon for further information, please come to our website and you can also contact us. So, see you again. Till then, goodbye.